playing a part in your role? Yeah, Zach's been with me through thick and thin. Obviously, Will missed 2021, my first year playing. And Zach was kind of that veteran presence for me that I really needed. Um, it's just great to see him rewarded for his hard work and success. It's an unappreciated position a thousand times over. So, um, and you see it, like people don't turn over long snappers a lot. It's because it's hard to find a good one. And he's a really good one, good person. Great guy to come to work with every day, great friend. So just really happy for him. How do you view getting competition at training camp, having them bring in another part? Like, how do you look at that? I mean, some years are obviously going to do that, some years are not. Yeah. I mean, every year I've had competition, whether it's in OTAs or camp. So this is four years running. And I think it's almost easier to have competition than to not, because you kind of have a way to gauge yourself against someone else. Um, obviously, we're punting every single day, either me or Lou. So it's good to get that kind of work and kind of measure yourself against someone else on a practice field before you go into a game. I think we just push each other every single day. I think it's good. Lou's really talented. Obviously, you see that. He punts a little bit different stylistically than I do. So it's good to kind of get that, you know, stylistic difference and um, kind of learn new tricks sometimes. How would you grade where you are right now and how you, how you feel you've done this game? Yeah, I feel like I've hit the ball pretty good. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm working on stuff like everybody on the, on the field. Um, sometimes doesn't translate to the periods well, but you know, that's kind of why you work through it during practice and getting ready for the preseason games. Hopefully those go well, and that's kind of what you're preparing for. What's kind of your big focus this offseason? Yeah, last offseason I was hurt for three months, and I felt like I was really concerned about getting my body right during the offseason, not really on my punting technique. I feel like I've really been able to hone in on different things I want to work on this offseason. Um, just really the consistency right in all situations of the game. Um, I don't really treat situationally different during a game because every punt's a big punt to me. Um, but obviously last year there was a couple times late in the game that I didn't really deliver for the team. And that's really unacceptable on my end. Um, just trying to really build that trust between myself and the coaching staff that I can deliver in those moments. Um, it's been big for me. And that's really just about getting comfortable with my technique, being able to rely on that in pressure situations. So like, if you're able to not have like, a full, healthy offseason, like, when, when, right. when do you start diving into that? Like, how, how much time do you, did you give yourself off before you? <laughs> well, I take about two and a half months off in the offseason before I start punting again. Um, and then kind of just start working things week by week, go out there with the plan every single day. and. Uh, Obviously, now it's kind of time to lay it on the line and go do it in the game. So, as a, as a punter, how, how often do you find yourself trying to add things to your game? Because I feel like there's a point where it's like, okay, I do everything that I need to do and I do it well. Mm -hmm. But are there times you see stuff that you just kind of incorporate? There's new stuff that's come about the last couple of years. Um, guys are starting to hit helicopter punts, yeah. which are really tough to catch. Johnny Hecker was the first to do it in the game. He now plays for Carolina, so we see him twice a year. Yeah. And he's done it against us. So just kind of trying to incorporate that in my game also, and that's whether we need it. it spins. Yeah, so you have your spiral punt, you have your end over end punt, which spins backwards. Yeah. Helicopter punt, you kind of drop sideways and it spins to the right. It's supposed to kick to the right. And those are really tough to catch for the returner because they go up this way and then snap back down at the end. So whether using that in a, just a regular game situation or when we need a, a turnover on the punt team, just kind of adding that to my arsenal has been kind of a focus this offseason. Kind of noticing today too when you were working on that mm -hmm. posting your end, you're going for the end over end rather than trying to turn it over if you're further back in the field. Right. Yeah. Every, I think everyone in the league at this point, once you're over the 50, you're hitting end over end punts. Just so much easier to control. Um, obviously, it used to, it used to be the coffin corner punts, uh, spirals, but it's just it's more consistent to do it distance control wise and directionally. Because if the ball doesn't turn over while hitting the spiral. The difference is 20 yards, whether or not it's going to be on the sideline or in the middle of the field. So, um, yeah, most everyone's doing that nowadays. This might be a dumb question, but you know, there's got to be a point where you also bring in everybody else into that too, because they need to know what type of punt you're Correct. sending down this. How does that kind of communicate? Yeah, I mean, we have different calls in games. I'm not going to give you our calls. But <laughs> uh, yeah, the Gunners are always on the same page as I am. Uh, Taysom's the best PP in the league, personal protector. 
So that makes it really, really easy for me. Obviously, reading defenses and reading rushes is very, very similar. Uh, so we kind of decide what punt we're going to hit based on that, based on whether the Gunners are getting viced or not. Um, then we're always on the same page with each other. You see a signal during games, different signals, uh, which we change every week so people can watch them all they want, but we change them. Uh, and it's just, yeah, we're always on the same page and it makes it easy on me because obviously we have great gunners out there. JT is an all pro. Um, we got some really good guys in camp getting good work. Will was talking about battling back from injury. Like, just feeling a lot more comfortable this year. Just what have yeah. you seen from him this camp? Just a lot of confidence. You know, last year, um, he was really, really just trying to get his body right every single week. Nothing, kind of the same way with me. We we're just trying to figure out a way to, to get to Sunday and feel really good. Um, and this year, his leg looks really live. He's really confident in practice, um, outside of practice. And I think for a kicker, confidence is everything. Because if you see the ball go through the pipes and you're not really sure why it did, you're not really guaranteed to do it again. So I think he's really, you know, worked really hard this off season, getting his body right, getting really confident. And I think, you know, operationally, we're really good right now. Does he intentionally go for that pole in the middle? <laughs> so depending on where we're kicking from, it's actually not in the middle. So it could be a little bit off center, but the one he hit today was was dead center. Blake, do you still uh, stay in contact with Marstead? You see the, the Hall of Fame game still punting? And <laughs> you know, I'm actually, we were supposed to go punt with each other in July, but the, the plans fell through. Um, he punted great in the Hall of Fame game, by the way. Um, really happy for him. And, you know, to be doing this 15 years is a blessing for anybody. And to do it in the way he has is kind of an example for me to, to try to kind of emulate for my career. So just really happy for all, all, his, all his success. Um, obviously, we're going to see a little bit of him on hard knocks, which should be a good, hopefully, makes a cameo appearance. Um, but yeah, you know, he's always been really, really good to me. I know him and Will are very, very, very good friends. So just kind of have that resource for him is also good. And I'm still pretty young, so to have that veteran presence for him is great.